Happy Halloween, everybody. Welcome back to Dead Rising 2. This is actually my second time recording this, because <clears throat> uh, the first one, it got deleted because um, Windows had automatic updates. and Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I was just practicing because, uh, what I was going to do for this Let's Play was I'm going to cut out all the, all the, the cutscenes, or the loading times, I mean. So, yeah, I was going to cut out all the cuts, the loading times, and you'll really, you really thank me for the long run, because there is a lot of cutscenes. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I kind of lost track of, you know. Yes. Yeah, voice there. Um. So anyway, um. So yeah, I talked about the loading times. I'm gonna cut those, so it'll shorten up the time. So what are we? What I'm, what I'm trying to do right now is, well, I'm just fooling around because I want to show you as much information as I can. Uh, it's very important that, it's, well, it'll help you if you collect this magazine, which, which is for health, and it says, uh, and the restore will be boosted by 50%. You want to have this magazine with you at all times because it will help you, especially when you're at a low level. So you might want to find that. Um, also, regarding Chuck's appearance, I will be changing it from time to time. Uh, this is just temporary. Uh, when I start leveling him up, I'm going to change him. I'm going to change his appearance at, um, right then. But for right now, like I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with this plaza and give me. Um, uh, there's also regards of combo cards, but I won't, you know, I'll show you guys when it's actually available in the game. So you can customize Chuck in any, in any way, except for the physical appearances or features. I mean, you can, you can put glasses on, you can... <clears throat> You can put on hats and shirts and jeans and shoes, all that stuff. Yeah. 
See, I'm just gonna let him put put on some glasses. Yeah, the zomb the zombies are really annoying. Um, for example, you can get hit by the little things. You can get hit. Uh, for example, if you're jumping and a zombie hits you in midair, you can take damage regardless. Oh, look at pizza. Uh, pizzas are a good health item too because they restore a lot of life. So I'm just going to use sports glasses. So... Anyway... I'm trying to recollect my thoughts here because... You know, since of the automatic updates, it really screwed me up a bit. I'm just going to collect the football helmet because I can. Uh, in level 1, you don't really have a whole lot of moves. So you're pretty much defenseless when you're starting the game over from a new slate. But I'm going to show you like a few items that will help you out. Uh, won't be a This won't be a 100% completion. I won't be able to show you like... How to get certain items, or how to, or maybe buy a few things that you can. I'm only going to show you what I know, and I know quite a few things about this game. Uh, that is why I, I decided to hold back on the let's play until I actually finish the game. So maybe it'll help me in regards to you know where everything is. Yeah, also, like, all the changing will happen in real time, so if you're not ready, or if there's a zombie, like, right next to you, uh, you're gonna get grabbed, and that's really annoying, and it leaves you defenseless. So, I'm gonna go to the market and start the, start the next cutscene, so see you in a little bit. Just here looking for some Zombrex. Well, you're definitely gonna need some painkillers when I'm done with you. Talking to you is giving me a headache. Oh, yeah? What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some for you? Yeah, give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help ya. How about it, Grandpa? You got any money? Uh, so yeah, so... One of the robbers has a weapon that you... Well, that you need to combine a, se a secret weapon that you get in the form of scratch cards, which has the same effect as combo cards, except it's, well, it's kind of like a prototype. I'm um, guessing, like, these scratch cards will, like, uh, affect, just like in Case Zero, that you get some weapons in the next game, you know, which I think will be Case West, which is kind of like the epilogue to Dead Rising 2. And I'll just I'll discuss that at the end of this let's play. And for right now, let's just kill these two bastards. So I'm just gonna use a crowbar to kill them. Let's see if we can grab this flashlight. So yeah, so I'm pretty I'm pretty defenseless right now. I need to get a weapon. Or I can just use a flashlight. Cause that acts like a weapon. I just gotta make sure that it doesn't break or anything.
So, yeah, so now I got a pharmacy key, which will help me open up the employees only door. And if you talk to Dinas, I think her name is, uh, she'll actually join you into letting her go to the safe house. Uh, saving survivors is a great way to level up fast. And it's just telling us a tutorial about scoring survivors, but that's not important. Well, to me at least. So yeah, we get some Zombrex. Gotcha. And just telling us that there's been a new formula last 24 hours. Zombrex overdose are deadly, yeah. And we gotta give it to our, we gotta give it to Katie between 7 a, 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. And just in case you forget, there's, there's the messages which. The bar represents how much time you have left to complete that certain task. And Stacy's just telling us what we already know. So like I said, escorting survivors is a really is a really good thing or it's a really great way to level up. And I will be escorting survivors. Uh, I don't know if I'll be showing those. Because there's actually a lot of tasks that you can complete, and it's gonna take a, it's gonna take some time to you know level up. So maybe I'll show you, but it'll just make this let's play like a lot longer. But you know I'll think of something. So anyway, I'm just gonna escort the survivor. Well, you know, there's this thing, if a zombie happens to grab the survivor, uh, they'll actually break free, and then won't take as much damage. Uh, I'm not sure if many people know this, but it's actually, you know, great to let the zombies, you know, attack, so that you don't have to do anything, and then won't take as much damage from it. Follow me. Uh, I think this, that's one problem this guy named Sage, the Sage, had in which he made a video review in this game and saying like you can easily kill the survivors if you're not careful Stick but uh, I actually knew about this when I first started playing so yeah if you just listen to me or if you listen to my advice and let the zombies attack uh, you'll have a great you'll have a more bigger chance of the survivors surviving uh, I'm kinda running out of time here so I think I'll just cut it as soon as I rescue the survivor. I know I haven't I haven't really did anything these past few parts, but since I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Where on earth did you find them? Never mind. I don't want to know. There's still people alive out there. We can't afford to have any infected in here. So yeah, so we, our first high score mission is done, and we level up. So in terms of leveling up, you can uh, increase your attack, your life, and throwing distance stuff like that. But I'm running out of time, so if you if you like this part, you know, favorite it or subscribe you know i really appreciate it so uh see you i'll see you guys next time